moment the presentation of the evzones that will present the the presentation of the evzones Είναι εδώ, είναι εδώ. Χρήστο, εδώ μπροστά είναι. And at this time, we would like to have the presentation of the colors by the Boy Scout Troop 568 of St. Paul Cathedral. And at this moment, I would like to call upon uh, to sing the um, national anthem and the, um, the hymn of liberty and the Star Spangled Banner, sung by Maria Prayas of St. Demetrius Merrick. And if we can have the clergy also um, please come forward, and we will join with her with the singing of the um, Greek national anthem. I guess I'll do it into here. I'm sorry? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Σε γνωρίζω από την κόψη του σπαθιού την τρομερή Σε γνωρίζω από την όψη που με βιά μετράει τη γη Απ' τα κόκαλα βγαλμένη των Ελλήνων τα γερά και σαν πρώτα αντριωμένη χαίρο χαίρο ελευθεριά και σαν πρώτα αντριωμένη χαίρο χαίρο ελευθεριά και σαν πρώτα αντριωμένη χαίρο χαίρο ελευθεριά at this moment uh, we invite remain standing please as we in, invite the vicar of the Nassau County of the Greek Orthodox clergy the Reverend Father Nikiforos Fakinos of the St. Demetrius Church of Merrick to offer the invocation and to offer uh, the, the words of His Eminence, Archbishop Apidophoros of America. We will recite together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Welcome. Please be seated. I would like to extend on behalf of His Eminence, Archbishop Elpido Foros of America, his uh, most heartfelt wishes and congratulations, especially on this evening of celebrating Hellenic American heritage and the great sacrifices that have been committed by thousands and thousands of people who believed in the Hellenic ideals, who believed in the virtues of liberty, and who offered their lives and their greatest gifts and endeavors in order for us to enjoy and cherish the blessed gifts and bequests of liberty and the pursuit of happiness. From the very beginning and the very inception of the modern Greek nation, we have been blessed that the path of two, to this, these two great nations the United States of America and Greece have been on a common avenue, on a common destination. Phil Hellenes and great Americans came to Greece to fight on the side of the Greek warriors 
and the heroes of the revolution of 1821. And to this day, America has taken great inspiration by the fact that our Hellenic culture and civilization has become the cornerstone of Western attributes and our very way of life. This is the reason we're here tonight, and we extend our most sincere gratitude to NASO, the entire political administration of this, the greatest uh, province, the greatest uh, county in America, and not only for welcoming us, but also for opening their hearts and making us feel that on this day, we all cherish these great ideals. Being free, honoring the heroes of the Greek Revolution, honoring the great principles and moral ideals of Hellenic civilization. Thank you for all the attendees tonight. Thank you for the honorees and thank you for the volunteers. And His Eminence sends his blessings and his uh, congratulations to all of you tonight. Thank you. Uh, it is our honor at this moment um, to um, bring forward and to welcome our host, uh, the Honorable Mr. Bruce Blakem, Nassau County Executive. And as we do so, I would just like also to um, have a moment of silence um, because um, Nathan Diller. So if we can just have a moment of silence. May God rest his soul, and with no further ado, the Honorable Mr. Bruce Blakeman. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honor to be here. Uh, we were supposed to do a flag-raising ceremony uh, this afternoon, uh, but because of the circumstances of one of our own, uh, a Nassau County resident who lived in Massapequa Park with his his wife, his young wife, and a one-year-old son, Ryan, um, police officer Diller grew up here in Nassau County in Franklin Square. And uh, it's just, it's a terrible tragedy. And we had to be with the family today at the beginning of the wake. And uh, so I apologize we didn't have the flag raising today. Uh, but I want to tell you that I I'm so very honored to be with you tonight because we are celebrating not only Greek Independence Day, but Greek Americans and the culture uh, that they have brought and the contributions they have made, not only to Nassau County, but to America. And I say it all the time. When you think about Greek Americans, uh, you think about all of the um, people who are in technology, business, finance, law, medicine, technology. It's really unbelievable. I have a, I have a good friend, John Katzmatidis. He's got uh, a variety of businesses, but now he's a, a radio personnel, uh, personality, I should say. And um, when you think of what he was able to accomplish here in America, uh, it's, it's amazing. He built an empire out of virtually nothing. So uh, I am just so honored to, to be here with you and to celebrate the achievements of Greek Americans and to celebrate uh, Greek uh, Independence Day. I want to also thank uh, the American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association for all that you do to keep uh, Greek history and Greek culture alive here in America. Uh, I've said it time and time again. I'm going to say it again. Uh, I'm going to repeat myself. I'm going to continue to do it. One of the things that impresses me most about Greek Americans is your ability to get children involved at an early age, involved in the history, the religion, involved in charity, involved in public service. Of all of the ethnic groups in Nassau County, you do the best job getting kids involved in good things, 
And that's incredibly important because if you get young people involved in good things, in their religion, in public service, in charity, in learning about history, learning about culture, they're less likely to get in trouble. They're more likely to be good citizens. So I want to congratulate you for that. Um, Nassau County is a very, very um, vibrant and diverse community. We have almost 1.5 1, 1. million people. We're larger than 10 states in population. Uh, we're an economic powerhouse. Our gross domestic product is larger than 144 nations in the United Nations. And by the way, one of the people, uh, I don't know if he's here, Nick Baltadakis, is he here? Okay, he's not here, but he's also a dear friend of mine and a very, very successful Greek American here in Nassau County. So um, we are very proud uh, to be here tonight and to join in this celebration. And uh, I just want to call up, if we can, uh, the honorees. Can we call them up? And uh, first, we want to start with the clergy so I can make a uh, presentation uh, declaring this Greek Independence Day throughout all of Nassau County. So uh, if the clergy could join us up here so I can make that presentation. If we can have our honorees to take a, um, whoops, a quick picture. Um, Mary Vloyanitis, Chris Neoclius. Andreas and Georgia Pavlu, Anna Parakis Alexandru, Dr. Dimitria Papadopoulos, Nicholas Malafis, and Zacharias Spanos. So uh, in conclusion, uh, first of all, let me say, one of the highlights of my summer are all the Greek festivals. Uh, I gain a lot of weight. The food is delicious. Uh, the entertainment is great. And uh, I have been known to have a little, little bit of alcohol at, uh, at some of the events. But uh, I am looking forward to it again this summer. And um, let me just say uh, to each and every one of you, may God bless you all. May God bless the Greek people, the island of Greece, and may God bless America. Thank you so much. Bruce has a very uh, busy schedule, especially with the uh, wake and the funeral of the fallen officer, Jonathan Diller, and he's departing. We have presented him with uh, gifts of sweets um, as a token of our thanks. Uh, so thank you, Bruce. And um, the, God bless you, the resolve, the strength, the wisdom to govern this incredible county. Thank you so much. <laughs> <Thank you. clears throat> 
I'd like to, um, uh, at this moment, just recognize the presidents of our communities, if, uh, if they are here. Uh, Nikos uh, Polikidis from St. Demetrius Merrick, if you can stand up. Uh, Nicholas Zumis of the Archangel Michael Church of Port Washington. Uh, George Vasilakis of the St. Paul Cathedral. Is George here? St stand up if you're here, please. Uh, George Nikias of Banilla Island Park. Uh, Chris Economo, Holy Trinity, Hicksville. Uh, Bobby Tsikaridis, the Church of the Holy Resurrection. And uh, Gus Galitos of St. Marcella, Wanta. Helps to have the programs. And as we know, the call of, of March 25th was uh, freedom or death. And um, we know the challenges of uh, going from next generation to the, uh, to the next generation. I shall laud the works of the Lord and what the churches are involved with in trying to um, uh, convey continuously toward the next generation the Hellenic ideals. With that in mind, we have an incredible keynote speaker, a very dynamic professor who's doing the work at a high level, and from her high level of work, it's trickling down also to our communities and to our Greek schools. Um, I would like to introduce Professor Maria Athanasopoulou, is Associate Director of the Center for Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies at Queens College, Queens College, works as an adjunct assistant professor in modern Greek at the Department of European Language of Queens College. She teaches Greek language and conversation at Queens College and Sony Brook University. Also, she's the program director of the study abroad in Greece of the International Academic Program of Sony Brook University. Her academic credentials include a bachelor's degree, a master's degree, and a doctorate degree in transcultural health sciences, which she received from the University of Athens in Greece. She is certified for teaching the Greek language as a second language from the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, Greece. Professor Maria Athanasopoulou began her academic career at the University of Athens. She has numerous professional publications, including two books and several chapters. She taught the Greek language to various parochial afternoon schools. She created, organized, and taught the conversational and lit literature circles designed for college students and adults as community services. Without any further ado, our keynote speaker, Professor Maria Athanasopoulou. <laughs> It is an honor to be here today. Thank you. The Greek Revolution of 1821 was a pivotal event in modern Greek history, make, uh, marking the beginning of the Greek war, war of independence against the Ottoman Empire. Today, we celebrate the creation of uh, modern Greece as the Hellenic Republic in a co continuation of uh, uh, Greece, oh, thank you. Yes, yeah. Of uh, Greece's uh, long th uh, history since antiquity, the revolution was motivated by factors, including national identity, desire of independence from Ottoman rule, and inspiration from uh, other contemporary independence movements, uh, such as the American and French Revolution. Is changed? I think no. I don't know why. Oh yeah. Okay, thank you. The significant the significance of Greek Independence Day can only be fully appreciated by understanding its historical context. Today, our mind travels uh, back to the glorious times of 1821. Those were times of bravery, total sacrifice and battle against organized Ottoman armies. The heroes' names echo through the, uh, the decades, still inspiring O Kolokotronis, Karaiskakis, Nikitaras, Andruzos, Diakos, Papaflesas, Canaris, Bobulina, 
along with uh, battle grounds, Alamana, Vervenakia, Gravia, Mesologi, Maniaki, Hios, Navarino, Zalogo. Okay. It all starts decades before 1821. In uh, 1793, the Thessalian writer and political theorist Rigas Ferreos traveled to Vienna to ask Napoleon Bonaparte to intervene on the Greeks' believe, uh, behalf. While there, he published his new pol political order, which include the Constitution, a map for a modern Greek-speaking uh, country, and of course, a battle song, Thurios, which became an effective call to arms. Adamadios Korais was a different kind of radical, a scholar of ancient Greek literature and intellectual to his core. He spent most of his life in Paris, where he witnessed firsthand the, the chaos of the French Revolution. If Rigas Ferreos took inspiration from the French Revolution, Korais saw it as a warning. He believed with passion, with classical education, with the key to, sorry, uh, to independence, and his writing urging Greeks to build schools and libraries to promote national regeneration. In 1814, uh, uh, three like-minded diaspora Greeks, Nikolaos Kufas, Emmanuel Xanthos, and Athanasios Tsakalov, came together in Odessa in present-day Ukraine, at the ta that time home uh, to a thriving Greek community and formed a secret society called the Philiki Eteria, the Society of Friends, to initiate an armed uprising to rid Greece uh, of uh, the Ottomans. The Philiki Eteria recruited mostly Fanariot Greeks from uh, Russia and local uh, chieftains from Greece. In 1818-20, Philiki Eteria found a perfect leader in Prince Alexander Ypsilad. Members were some future Greek War of Independence leaders, such as Theodoros Kolokotronis, Odysseus Adrutsos, Dimitrios Plaputas. Also, it was attended by four bishops including the do dominant figure of Bishop Germanos. From then on, uh, uh, the all-important church was on site. The revolutionary seed of the uh, Philiki Eteria was planted, and the slogan, liberty or death, began to uh, urine uh, for more and more on the lips of the Greeks. During Ottoman rules, rule, Turks oppressed, taxed, fortured, and enslaved the Greek people. Education was minimal at monasteries and small churches, keeping the flame of uh, Hellenic languages and culture alive. Taxation forced poverty among the majority of the people. The heaviest tax being living against the oppressed uh, Greeks was an, uh, the enslavement of their children who were kidnapped to, uh, to be training and enlisted uh, as Yenitsari. After 400 years of slavery, the Greeks decided to initiate an armed uprising to rid Greece of the Ottoman, uh, starting a new glorious chapter in Hellenic history. In the spring of 1821, the Greeks who had been organizing the, their force for months and years went into the war of independence with the slogan, with the slogan liberty or death. The first flag of the revolution raised on the island of Spetses on March 13 by a woman, no less Lascarina Bubulina. On March 17th, the Maniots, Maniotes from uh, Aeropoli declared war on the Turks, entering the city of Kalamata and joined the force with uh, other commanders, commanders uh, as Theodoros Kolokotronis, Nikitaras, and Papaflesas. 
securing the liberty of Kalamata was the first major step towards the independence. The liberation troops then marched straight to Agia Lavra at Calavrita, where they met with uh, Bishop Germanos of Old Patras. On March 25th, 1821, Bishop Germanos raised the revolutionary flag outside the gate of the Agia Lavra Monastery, declared war and blessed the efforts of the freedom fighters. Greeks choose March 25th as the historical day of the beginning of the war, so the outbreak of the revolution uh, would, uh, would uh, co uh, coincide with the, fi the feast, uh, with the celebrate of Annunciation of the Virgin Mary. By January 1822, led by Theodoros Kolokotronis, the entire Moreas, Moreas, Peloponnesus, region was liberated um, and became Greek territory once again. The news that the Greeks has revolted naturally infuriated the Ottomans, of course. Uh, in the seat of the Ottoman Empire, Constantinople, the Sultan ordered the uh, massacre of the Patriarch of the Greek uh, Orthodox Church, Gregory V, and the city's Greek population in retaliation. At the same time, Central, central um, Greece joined the war with Athanasius Diakos and Odysseus Andruzos and George Karaiskakis in Athens. By the end of 1821, the freedom fighters had managed to temporarily secure their position in central Greece. The first day of uh, 1822 was marked by the approval of a vote of the first constitution of the revolution by the National Assembly of Epidavros. The text is influenced not only by the French constitutions of uh, 1793 and 1795, but also by the American Declaration of Independence of July 4th, 1776 and 1787, Constitution of the United States. However, many regions and islands uh, of Greece had not been liberated yet. When Greeks from other islands landed on Hios to attack and help them, the Turks sent thousands of troops to the island. The Hios massacre for, for was one of the darkest moments of the entire Greek War of Independence. Greeks felt that they had to retaliate. On June 1822, Admiral Kostadinos Canaris served justice in the best way possible with the huge destruction of the Ottoman flagships. After this atrocity of Hios and Mesologi, uh, four years later, many Western Europeans felt increased sympathy for the Greek uh, uh, cause and brought international attention to the Greek struggle for libera uh, liberation. These terrible events influenced the eventually decision of Britain, France, and Russia to help the Greeks. From Europe to America, the scope of philelism grew wider. The English romantic poet Lord Byron uh, was the best known philelin of the time. Byron joined the Greek War of Independence acti actively and became a national hero for all Greeks. Inspired by, by Byron, American philelin's Dr. Samuel Howe sailed for, for Greece, just he earned his medical degree from Harvard University in 1824. Howe joined the Greek army as a doctor. His service, however, uh, were not only as a doctor, but uh, he fought on the battles, showing great bravery and skill in, in commanding troops. Even after returning to America in uh, 1827, he engaged to campaigns to raise funds and uh, supplies to help the Greeks. Jonathan Miller, 
uh, George Jarvis and uh, um, George Wilson are three other American philhellenists uh, who were inspired to travel to Greece to fight in the war of liber uh, liberation. American philhellenists played a notable role, role in supporting the Greek cause during the revolution, drawing parallel, uh, parallels for, uh, with their struggle for independence, many Americans sympathized with the Greeks and saw their fight as a continuation of the ideals of liberty and democracy. Philhellenes were an uh, integral part of Greece, Greece's independence, without whom the outcome might not have been the same. This person selflessly uh, dedicated themselves to the cause of freedom from tyranny and slavery. Also, the big powers of the time, uh, of the time were all supportive. Britain secured a fleet of ships for, um, uh, for the Greeks as France, and Russia helped destroy the of Ottoman fleet at the Battle of Navarino in October 1827. The Allied uh, naval forces put at, uh, an aid to Turkey's plans to recapture the, par uh, the parts of Greece they lost after century of rule. After a long and tremendous career in U European politics and diplomacy, uh, uh, diplomacy um, Ioannis Kapodistrias uh, was elected as the first head of state of independent uh, Greece in 1827 with third national assembly in Trizin and uh, served as the governor of Greece between uh, 1828 uh, and 1831. For his uh, significant contribution during the, his governance, he is recognized as the founder of the modern Greek state. The London, the London Protocol of May 1830, signed by Britain, France, and Russia, um, marked, marked the formal end of the Greek War of Independence, creating modern Greece in, uh, as an independent state, only the second country on the world uh, to gain independence from an imperial power. Today, 203 years after the Greek War of Independence, 1821, we remember and honor the sacrifices of our ancestors who gave their lives for our freedom. Greek Independence Day holds profound significance for the Greeks in uh, representing their struggle for freedom, dignity, and self-determination. For us, for the Greek-American diaspora, Greek Independence Day holds significant cultural, historical, and emotional importance. It connects us to our homeland's history. Despite we live in the United States, maintain a strong sense of our Greek identity, uh, language, traditions, and customs. And Greek Independence Day re re reinforces these connections. It embodies, uh, embom embodies sorry, out um, our spirit of unity, solidarity, and commitment to, pres to preserving our Greek heritage and values between generation and continents. Thank you very much. Uh, as we pro proceed with the program, I would like just to bring to um, recognition our uh, invited guest, His Eminence Archbishop Albi the Fortis of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. 
um, the Ambassador H.E. Mr. Evangelo Sava, um, Joseph Saladino, Supervisor of the Town of Oyster Bay, the Honorable Madeline Singas, the Honorable Helen uh, Vucinas, Mr. and Mrs. George and Angela Maragos, who um, are here today. George, of course, is um, a, a past uh, controller of Nassau County. Uh, the Honorable Constantinos Constantino of Greece, the Honorable Mr. Michalis Firilis, the uh, Consulate of Cyprus, Mr. Nicholas Bodatakis. Um, representing uh, Larry Hadzoglu is his son, Andoni, with his wife, Nicoletta. Where are they? Are they here? Right, stand up a second. They brought us food from Carl Place Diner, so thank you. Hayda uh, Mahatsis, who is the chairperson for the uh, St. Michael's home that we are looking to hopefully open in Uniondale, 70% done. We have to bring attention um, of all of us. This is in our backyard. If we can't support and help this cause, then we should close the doors to our churches because we're not doing our job. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Ms. Um, Ms. Jennifer DeSena, our North Hempstead County Supervisor. Uh, Marian Delamonte, and the leadership of the HEPA family of Long Island. If we could have the leadership stand up for a second so we could just recognize your, your, your presence here. Um, without any uh, further ado, uh, we need to get to the main part of uh, this program. And it's honoring our um, honorees. And so with our first honoree, I'd like to call up the, uh, the Dean of the Cathedral of St. Paul, the Reverend Father Christopher Constantinides, to introduce our first honoree. Good evening. The Honorable Blake, Bruce Blakeman. Honored guests, Reverend Clergy, and most importantly, Presidentes, who help us with our job. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, the honorees. I'm here this evening to introduce to you the best Greek school principal in Nassau County. Father John, Father John just said, hey. <laughs> Mary Vlaginidis is not only the principal of our Greek school, but can be called an innovator, can be called a trailblazer, and if I may be so bold, she can be called a forerunner. She has taken a Greek school that was now I'm talking years ago, struggling to a Greek school that has now become the model of this county and many of our churches throughout New York. During COVID, which all of us know was, if not a challenging time, was the most difficult time, she developed a Zoom program that wasn't just Zoom, where we all heard about Zoom programs and how they were good and bad and kids were just falling asleep at the, at the screen and all that, but she developed a Zoom program that was not only a, a teachable program, but a program that engaged our children. She's not just the principal as a job. She lives this from her heart, and that's why she has done such a beautiful and such a successful and such a great job at St. Paul's. So it is my honor and my privilege to introduce you the pride of the Greek school of St. Paul's Greek Orthodox Cathedral, Mary Vlaginidis. Thank you, Father Christopher. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nassau County Executive, then Honorable Bruce Blakeman. 
the Nassau County Legislature and esteemed guests. Thank you for this honor and for recognizing the important role of our Greek heritage in American and our home in Nassau County. I would like also to congratulate all my fellow honorees tonight for the significant contributions to the Hellenic and American ideas. Sikharitiria ke pandaxi. In September 2000, I came into this beautiful country. It wasn't easy, but I built a wonderful life and I had three lovely kids. Years later, I came across some difficulties in my personal life. While my family was in Greece, I felt lonely and lost. But at that moment was when my Greek American and American friends became my new family. At that exact moment, the fantastic community of St. Paul's honored me as the Greek school principal. That was when my grandmother's words about leaving Greece came to my mind. When I left, my grandmother from Ithaca, whom I grew up with, told me, go and may the Panagia and God be with you. Do you cross in every difficulty you find and don't be afraid. This is the path God laid out for you and you must follow it. O Theos, mazi su pedimu. And that was my path to be around the young kids and pass on our national heritage to a new generation of Greek children who will honor it and enrich it in turn. No, just teach them the Greek language, which has been spoken and written without interruption for 40 centuries, but also teach kids and parents our Greek history, gain greater respect and appreciation for their struggles of our ancestors, and be inspired by the courage and devotion to, be, to the values of freedom and democracy. I'm deeply humbled and grateful for this immense honor. It holds a special place in my heart, and I assure you that I will continue to pour my heart and soul into this role, working alongside all of you, my community, my extended family, Beyond the language, I'm committed to teaching our children our customs, traditions, history, and the importance of homeland, religion, and family. These values are the very essence of being Greek, and they are worth preserving and passing on. Thank you. Around 2014-2015, I was uh, at Fordham University um, giving the uh, prayers for the Greek night, and I came across uh, a known figure. Uh, we've had some interesting interactions, um, but um, he began to tell me about what was happening at the Archangel Michael community in Port Washington. And lo and behold, um, a few years later, I would be finding myself being assigned to this incredible community. And with that in mind, I would like to uh, introduce the honoree for the Archangel Michael uh, Church of Port Washington is Chris Neoclius. <clears throat> A Greek American, also Cypriot, businessman from Astoria, Queens, since 1997, he had lived in Port Washington, New York, with his wife, Vasi, and two daughters, Kristala and Dimitra. Chris is an alumni of the St. Demetrius Greek Elementary School of Astoria. We can't forget our roots, so we can't forget St. Demetrius and Astoria. And a graduate from Queens College, after three decades in banking, together with his wife, in 2001, they established a successful interior design 
build firm in Nassau County. Chris has been an active member of the Archangel Michael Greek Orthodox Church in Port Washington for 26 years. Besides supporting or being involved in almost every fundraiser the past few decades, his service on the construction committee was instrumental in the building of the new church and school complex. Chris served three terms as president of the church and during his last presidency spearheaded the first Greek festival on the harbor, the best festival. <laughs> his continued dedication to this annual event has raised over a million dollars for the Archangel Michael community. He has awarded the Hellenic Thread Award for, um, for his unprecedented service to his community in 2017. The Archbishop Demetrius awarded him with the prestigious Archdiocesan Medal of St. Paul. This is the highest honor that can be bestowed to a non-clergy member of the Greek Orthodox Church. We introduce you to Mr. Chris Neoclius. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Now, Mary, I can't beat that speech because I really didn't prepare one, but very nicely done. Thank you. This is an honor. Thank you for the recognition. Honor for myself, my family, and to my wife and my children who have to put up with me. Thank you so very much. If Chris's family can come up, we can take a picture together. Um, also joining us today is Jennifer DeSena of the North Hempstead Supervisor. She, because uh, Chris is in her backyard, um, she also wanted to present a uh, uh, declaration, uh, a proclamation for Chris. <laughs> Uh, our next presenter is our uh, beloved vicar of the uh, Nassau County, um, a, a, a colleague, a good friend, a classmate of the seminary, the very reverend Father Niki Fotos Fakinos to introduce our next honoree. Usually we select one honoree. This year we have two. Because it is in the Bible, for this reason, uh, Man shall leave his father and mother, shall be joined to his wife. So let's join these two into one. After all these years that I know them, in 22 years, they keep finding ways to amaze me. And all of us. When I first met Adrea and Georgia Pavlo, the circumstances were tragic. It was the month after the loss of their beloved son, Pablo, Paul. He was an altar boy in the church, and he was an amazing, amazing inspiration for all the young children, young boys, as old as these wonderful boys here. Mr. Blakeman said this before, that he recognizes the tremendous value that our Greek Orthodox communities have instilled in bringing the youth to its ministries, the programs, education, culture, faith. Paul embodied all these attributes. And not only this, but even in his last breath in the hospital, he asked Andrea and Georgia, please take care of my friends here. And they did. Other parents would just simply shut down and remove themselves and be angry at God and be angry at life. The opposite happened. Georgia and Andrea, they started an organization that day. Their legal advisor is here. They called them to the hospital and they said, today we're starting an organization to help children with leukemia. And since then, hundreds and hundreds of families have been the beneficiaries of their love and their philanthropy. Behind all this is our little Paul. 
They have helped all these causes from the Cypriot Federation, their community from the village in Cyprus, but also the Hellenic initiatives, the great community projects of St. Demetrius in Merrick, in the Paris Council, in the church office, in Philoptochos, in the youth programs. There is not a single program that you will not find Georgia and Andrea being part of it. Instead of being defeated by tragedy, they turned the odds and they made their own rules. And that's why we cherish the memory of our beloved Paul, thanks to their example and their beautiful daughter, who, Eleni, who, has, uh, who is raising now three little children. One of them is named Paul. And all of their other children, thousands of them, not by blood, but by love. So, Georgia and Andrea, we love you. Thank you for all the, the things you do for us. Axi. It is with a great honor that we're receiving this award on behalf of Nassau County and the Homogenia. We really appreciate everything, and uh, we're going to still, as our logo, continuing the fight against leukemia. We're going to continue our mission to help as many children. Thank you. I want to thank everybody for the support, especially thanks to all the volunteers. Without the volunteers, our mission would have been impossible. And a great thanks to Father Nikiforos. Without him to inspire us, I would have stopped. <laughs> Continue to after 20 years. And thank you, Father Panayoti. If you can have your family come up, Ikoyenya. And Maria, if we can get with your uh, afterwards. Maria Vlonyelich, Meta Bidiasu, and Father Chris again. <laughs> And with uh, great joy, it is um, one, uh, an honor to uh, welcome my neighbor priest, who is just getting off of a, a $12 million, $16 million project of opening up the new gymnasium and, um, and fellowship hall. <laughs> and, um, we're, um, and it's incredible to see all the churches together. We're like... Um, the more pearls on a necklace, the prettier the necklace. That is what it's like with the churches. Each church just as bright as the other one right next to each other to give glory to God. So with that in mind, our beautiful Reverend Father Bandelemon Papadopoulos to introduce our next honoree. Thank you. I want to thank <clears throat> Father John for the very kind introduction. I think all of us, God willing, in the room know how to read. I don't mean that to be funny, but I think it's worth, since we're in this very auspicious center or place, in addition to being surrounded by so many wonderful people, please take the time as you leave today to read the bios of each of our honorees. It's just a matter of Greek dignity to appreciate, really, the God-blessed talents of these people. 
Anne Alexandru, or as I once called her, Anne Paracas, and then I hit myself in the head and I said, I associate her, what can we say about a person? Her whole life, literally, friends, has been dedicated to children and to her Hellenic identity. She has spent over 20 years of her life serving in our community as Greek school president, as Greek school board member, PA president of the Greek school, GOI advisor, youth coach, youth commissioner. She adds to that her education as a teacher with young children. I don't think anyone in this room has anything to say about our people who focus on the upbringing of our children. All of our kids spend more time with their teacher than they do with their parents. And for those of you who are statistically oriented, we live today, we live right now, 2024, in a world that has given us the highest suicide rates among children in the history of the world the highest depression rates among teens in the history of the world. So Anne, the work that you do and you have done so faithfully for over two decades, focused on children. In the New Testament, friends, the only instance with in which Jesus embraces someone is with a child. It's the only moment we have in the whole New Testament where it says Jesus took someone into his arms. And those were children. And what you do to shape and form and inspire our kids, Anne, is a true tribute to your life and to what you have offered to this world. Because, as many of us know in the room, we don't have two chances with our kids. And we don't know what the future can bring in the lives of our kids. And so for that, as a true Helene, and I use that why, because, as our beautiful professor mentioned in her remarks, the Greeks were never in the great numbers. They were always mia hufta just a handful of people. Every single army marched over Greece. How many occupied Greece for centuries? And that little hoofda of people against all odds, right? We're against all odds with our kids today. They stand firm in their convictions and, and in their mission to make a difference. And that's why, rather than focus on one community, all of us fathers and all of the honorees and all of you who are here this evening all have made in your own special way a little rock, a little something that we hope will make a difference in this world. So Anna, God bless you. God bless your beautiful family. See Lazarus, I don't know if your two children are here, Alexander and Anastasia, in spirit. And may God continue to inspire your heart to do what's right and to do the best for our kids as we try to make a difference in this world going in the years ahead. God bless you. Please come up, Larry, as well. And I want to steal an idea so that Professor Athanasopoulou will be proud and say the word in English, we say thank you which is a horrible translation of the word efcharisto. The word efcharisto is the Greek word which is normally translated as thank you. But the etymology of the word, and professor, please correct me if I'm wrong, f meaning good and charis, which is grace. So I don't say thank you, Anna, on behalf of all of our friends. I say, may you have good grace upon you. And you allow me to call your brother up, Father Anastasios Purakis. And Larry, why don't you join and whoever else needs to be up here.
Asso. Can I, can I invite your whole yeah, resurrection yeah. family? And may I also invite the entire resurrection family that's here, because Anne was always about community. Thank you so much for this honor. Everyone that knows me knows I do not like speaking in public. I'm pretty scared. I don't know how I did it as a teacher, but I'm not one to speak in public. Um, just a few, few, few simple words. Sorry. Oh, sure. Um, from a young age, the values of faith, family, and our Greek heritage were instilled in me. Growing up in Astoria, and attending St. Demetrius Day School, my parents exemplified the importance of these foundations. After moving to Long Island, getting married at St. Paul's, my husband Lazarus and I settled down raising our children in the faith at Holy Resurrection. We strive to be role models for our children, engaging them in activities, many of them, our Greek school little angels, joy, goya, festivals, parades, and many of the athletic programs. It was crucial for me that our children grew up rooted in our community, embracing our values of faith, family, and love of our Greek heritage, never forgetting our roots. It runs deep in our veins. Zito y mas. I extend my heartfelt thank you to my parish family, Father Pandelemon, parish council, and my beloved family, my husband Lazarus, my brother father, Anastasios Presbytera, Georgia, Tasso, George, and Sydney, who are here, your unwavering for your unwavering and continued support. Your presence here means the world to me, as it always has and it always will. I love you all. Thank you. If I can have Father Chris come up uh, again with Maria Floyanitis and with her family so we can repeat a picture with her whole family. Uh, before we continue, I just want to um, recognize the uh, contributions of the whole committee. This really works seamlessly because every church does their own little bit, and it's just amazing how easy it comes together. So part of the Hellenic Heritage uh, Night Committee is Father Christopher Constantinidis. If you can please arise, Father John Lardis, myself, Father Niki Fores Fakinos, uh, Father Theophanis Papandonis, Father George Col Colios. Father Bandelemon Papadopoulos, Father George Kuzulis, Mary Vloyanitis, George Papathanasio, Denise Mutafis, Dimitrius Kaulis, Christopher Triandefilu, uh, Nikos Condoleon, uh, Paniota Perlegis, Anastasio Tsumblis from the Ahepa uh, family, and also need to include Stephanie Clark, the uh, um, the past president of the Church of the Resurrection. So thank you all for the, your incredible uh, support for this. 
And we also want to uh, just acknowledge uh, some of our donors. Um, Carl Place Diner, uh, On Parade Diner, uh, Pandora Bakery, uh, Neil Yuanu, the Bargain uh, Printing and Bargain uh, Promos, Kabir's Bakery, and Graphics and Design by Jim Lolis. And I also want to thank um, our um, Mariana, Mariana um, Asimokopoulos, who also came to help do uh, photography. Uh, continuing with the, our honorees, our next honor, uh, priest I would like to introduce is um, our, our, our father from Rodo, um, with the incredible voice and chanting, and who is uh, in, inspiring the, the church of um, Allen Park Panagia, uh, the, very, the Reverend Father George Kazulis. Thank you, Father John. Kalispera se olus. Good evening to everyone. It is with great joy uh, that we gather here today uh, to celebrate the Hellenic American Heritage Day in, or, in honor of Greek independence and honor the achievements of Dr. Dimitria Papadopoulos of our Panagia of Island Park community. She is a shining example of the Greek American dream. Dr. Papadopoulos' journey is filled with hard work and an unwavering Orthodox faith that has guided her every step of the way. From a young age, Dr. Papadopoulos was deeply connected to her Greek Orthodox faith and Greek culture. She understood the importance of never forgetting her roots and embraced her heritage with pride. As a young adult, she actively engaged in various organizations, including Goya and YAL, and served as a counselor at Good Shepherd Greek Orthodox Camp. She also shared her knowledge in dermatology through lectures at several parishes, demonstrating her commitment to serving the Greek Orthodox community. She has volunteered at festivals, events coordinator, assisted with fundraisers, and provided any form of support to those in need. In her pursuit of excellence, Dr. Papadopoulos excelled in her academic career, becoming a board-certified dermatologist and dermatologic surgeon. For nearly 20 years, she has been the founder and owner of Belmore Dermatology. Her excellence and dedication have been recognized by multiple local, state, and national medical societies, where she stands in excellent standing. As a proud member of the Hellenic Medical Society of New York, Dr. Papadopoulos continues to inspire others through her exemplary contributions to the medical field. But beyond her professional accomplishments, what truly sets Dr. Papadopoulos apart is her unwavering commitment to spreading knowledge, love, faith, and a warm smile. I want to see it again. <laughs> Ella, Dr. Dimitria. Her patients students, the parishioners at Panagia Island Park, and her beloved family and friends are all touched by her genuine care and compassion. Today, we honor Dr. Dimitria Papanopoulos, not only for her impressive achievements, but also for her love and dedication to Hellenism. Her journey serves as an inspiration to us all, reminding us of the power of hard work faith and dedication to serving others. Dr. Papadopoulos, thank you for being a beacon of light in our community. May you continue to touch the lives of many. Congratulations. We love you.
Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Kalispera Sas. Um, I just wanted to say a few words. I'm short, sorry. <laughs> I'd like to thank all of you for being here. Um, the Honorable Mr. Bruce Blakeman, the outstanding clergy, the fabulous keynote speaker, and all guests on this special evening. Of course, I'd love, I want to thank Father George. Your smile is important to me, too. <laughs> so we have to both spread that. <laughs> and to the Parish Council, um, and to the lovely Panagia of Island Park. Um, of course, I have to thank my exceptional family, my exceptional parents, Christos and Christina Papadopoulos, my loving brother, Michael Papadopoulos, and my outstanding 14-year-old daughter, Rena, that I cannot live without. <laughs> Being Greek American is like many, I'm, I'm sure, feel this way, is in our blood, our heart, and our soul. And it is, has made me into the person and physician that I am today. Of course, I am forever grateful for the Greek language. As everyone knows in this room, every term in uh, the medical field is Greek. Greek. Everything is Greek. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Sometimes I felt as if I was cheating in medical school because I did have one up on everybody else. Probably why I'm a dermatologist today. <laughs> I'm, also, uh, I'm also very grateful for my beautiful religion and my faith. It has helped me through every challenge that I've had to go through. It has taught me to treat every soul that I encounter every day with love, acceptance, patience, and respect. I look forward to continuing to give back to my parish, to the medical community, and of course to my Panagia of Island Park, as I thank all of those things for what it has given me. I thank you so much. Have a nice evening. Come in the front with your family and so you can take a picture. See <laughs> messy, but. We also um, are grateful for the um, to Christos Vretsakis, who has every year led our Evzons. Yes, yeah, so Christo. Uh, DJ Triandafilos Zaris and Euphoria Productions. And um, we also want to, again, uh, recognize uh, the, uh, the morning anthem for HEPA, Mesa of Hedina District, number six, Governor Christina Faleas, who sang this morning's uh, hymns of liberty. And with, let's continue with our program. And we would like now to introduce, uh, to have Father, the Reverend Father George Collios from the St. Marcala Church in uh, Wontaw, to um, introduce our next honoree. Καλησπέρα σας. Μαζευτήκαμε απόψε εδώ για να τιμήσουμε τον αγώνα που δώσανε οι Έλληνες πριν 200 περίπου χρόνια, 203 για την ακρίβεια, ώστε να αποκτήσουν την ανεξαρτησία τους. Σήμερα ουσιαστικά τιμούμε την έναρξη αυτού του αγώνα και όχι την ελληνική ανεξαρτησία, η οποία έλαβε χώρα μετά από περίπου 9 χρόνια, το 1830. Η κυρία Θανασοπούλου μας μίλησε για τους ήρωες του 1821 συνοπτικά μεν. Παρ' όλα αυτά βρισκόμαστε απόψε εδώ για να τιμήσουμε τους ήρωες της ζωής. Τους ανθρώπους οι οποίοι ήρθαν σε αυτή τη χώρα, αγωνίστηκαν 
και θα πω το κλίσε, έζησαν το αμερικανικό όνειρο. Και ένας από αυτούς τους ανθρώπους είναι και ο κύριος Νίκος Μαλαφής, τον οποίο, τον οποίο τιμούμε σήμερα ως κοινότητα. Ήρθε σε αυτή τη χώρα, αγωνίστηκε, πάλεψε, πραγματικά πέτυχε και έγινε πατριάρχης, πατριάρχης με την έννοια ότι απέκτησε μία πάρα πολύ μεγάλη οικογένεια. Έχει πάρα πολλά δυσέγγωνα. Επομένως, θα ήθελα να τον καλέσω να έρθει, να λάβει τη τιμητική αυτή διάκριση που έχουμε απόψε για αυτόν. Θα κάνετε λίγη υπομονή γιατί ήταν προλίγου στο γιατρό. Και επιτρέψτε μου να πω το εξή. Επέλεξα να σας μιλήσω στα ελληνικά γιατί αφενός μένει η μητρική μου γλώσσα. Αφετέρου δεν πιστεύω ότι περισσότεροι από σας την κατανοείτε ενώ και τα παιδιά τα οποία βρίσκονται δεξιά και αριστερά μου πηγαίνουν σε ελληνικά σχολεία, απογευματινά ημερήσια. Επομένως η γλώσσα είναι ένα βασικό στοιχείο του πολιτισμού μας. Είναι η ταυτότητά μας και καλό είναι να την κρατούμε, καλό είναι να την προωθούμε όποτε μπορούμε. Σας παρουσιάζω τον κύριο Νίκο. Μπορούμε να καλέσουμε την οικογένεια. Ελάτε να τραβήξουν φωτογραφία. Ελάτε όλη η οικογένεια του. And uh, I also want to take the time to uh, thank our IT staff, uh, Steve Fedlam. Our sound, uh, Pat Frankel. Our housekeeping, uh, Ricky Bay. Uh, Kim Collins, who uh, works directly with um, uh, his honor, Bruce Brakeman, Break and Rafael Barone. If, you, if you're still here, please come forward. We have a little gift to give to you. Steve, if you can come. Uh, Pat. The names that we call, we have some Greek sweets. You'll take, you'll take his box? <laughs> Will he get it? <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Is uh, Rafael Barone still here? And or uh, Ricky Bay? <laughs> uh, and last but not least, um, a very uh, dynamic uh, priest of the Holy Trinity Church of Hicksville, who's bursting at the seams and ready to grow. And we're just, they're waiting to get some permits done through the town of Oyster Bay. Um, the very Reverend Father Theophanes Papandonis to introduce our last honoree. I guess I saved the best for last. The honoree it is. As Deuteronomy says, remember the days of old, consider the years of old generations, 
Ask your father, and he will inform you, your elders, and they will tell you. Many times we speak about the building of the future, but we can't do that without honoring the past. And of course, Holy Trinity as a community officially began its groundbreaking in 1978, opened its doors. Palm Sunday of 1980, which happened to be March 30th in 1980. So we are around for about almost half a century. And if we take those 46 years of Holy Trinity, you cannot pick a year where the honoree, Zacharia Spanos, is not present. He was there from almost the beginning in 1986. He was married at Holy Trinity. There he raised his two children. Uh, he will uh, marry off his second child next year. And now he is raising his first grandchild uh, in the church. Of course, Zacharia served with all his being. He is the one who, as the liturgy says, he loved the beauty of the house. He gave himself in service as president, vice president, chairman of the festival, and of course he was a pillar during the many years of Father George's service. So Zacharia embodies the past, he embodies the foundation, and he embodies the movement towards the future. So we thank him for all that he's done. This year, he decided not to run again for the parish council, but his son did. So we have this transition of passing on the torch of the love for the church, specifically for Holy Trinity, from one generation to the other. Zacharia, se ευχαριστούμε πάρα πολύ. Ελάτε. Καλησπέρα σας. Ε, θέλω να σας ευχαριστήσω που είστε όλοι απόψε εδώ. Θέλω να ευχαριστήσω τον Μπάτερ Θεοφάνη, τον πρόεδρο της κοινότητας, τον κύριο Οικονόμου και την οικογένειά μου. Να είστε καλά. Σας ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Δεν θέλω να σας κοράσω. Είμαι ο τελευταίος. Έλα, 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 έλα. With the family of uh, Mr. Spanos, please come forward to take a picture. At this point, we're going to have the dismissal of the Evzones and of the Scouts. If we could please rise. and the dismissal of our scouts.
each year we try to spread the wealth to have each church present their dance group and to pre dance to um, to uh, present us with uh, the Greek the traditional Greek dance is the Hellenic dancers of the Holy Trinity Church of Hicksville that will be joining us please please, please be seated
Su Palicaria. Um, are the presidents of our communities still here? Any, uh, if the presidents of our communities can please come up. The presidents of our communities, please come forward. With the clergy to take a picture with your pre the, our presidents. The presidents of our communities, please. The, the, should we put the presidents in front of us behind? No, no, no. Presidents in the front and what priests will be yeah. behind. Yeah, presidents no, no, no. in the front and we'll, priests will be behind. They'll make a bunny ears for the church. Watch your <laughs> This time we would like to call up the uh, HEPA family of uh, Long Island um, to um, to take a picture. This morning they had the the flag raising. Uh, we know that the leadership of the HEPA, many of their members are part of the leadership of our church. They provide scholarships for all our Greek schools. Um, they uh, lobby and they uh, promote Hellenic ideals in education. And uh, so we would like to acknowledge their um, work and their presence within the community. And we'd like to uh, invite for the uh, for the benediction the dean of the Cathedral of St. Paul, Father Christopher Consonides. Please rise and join us in the um, in the hallways for um, some refreshments. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, our God. We call upon you to bestow a special blessing upon all of our honorees today and thanking them for their continued work in the church and their work within the Greek family and the heritage of our beloved country, Greece. We also ask you tonight as we celebrate this wonderful celebration of March 25th to allow us to keep this as an annual celebration, which it is, but to allow it to continue so that we never forget how those who fought for the freedom that we have today and that we never forget them. But we also ask that this is another special anniversary, which is a sad anniversary, and that is the celebration, I shouldn't even say celebration, but the invasion of Cyprus of 50 years ago. And we need to keep that in our memories and we need to never forget, and we need to do everything we can to pray that that comes to an end. So may our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ bless all of us gathered here today. May we have a glorious and a very fruitful and spiritually uplifting great Lent, and may our Pascha be filled with the joy and love of our Lord and God's resurrection. Have a blessed and beautiful Lenten season. And may our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ bless all of us. Thank you and congratulations to all of our honorees and everybody here present. <laughs>